What's up YouTube, Tech and Tweaks back again with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys a couple of tweaks that you can run on your jailbroken device running iOS 14 to 14.3 and below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So if we take a look at my lock screen real quick, we have a tweet called Zen HTML. As you can see, I have a little glitch clock running right there. So if we hop over to the settings of this tweet, you can see that you can go ahead and customize a bunch of different things on the lock screen. I have a pretty in-depth review of this tweak on one of my other videos, but real quick. So if we go to background widgets, you can add a widget. So for example, we could do particles. That's a little preview of it. So those particles could be on your home screen or on your lock screen. So if we go ahead and tap the little check, pull down my lock screen, we can see that the particles are now animating in the background. Now there is a bunch of other little widgets that you can download separately for this tweak. There's another one called Neon Lights. If you look right there, you can have your clock look neon. I think it looks pretty awesome. Anyways, guys, this one's called Zen HTML. There's a ton of different options that you can configure and a ton of different widgets that you can download. If we hop into my next tweak, it's called RG Board. So basically, it just allows you to have an RGB keyboard. So if you look right there, I have a black keyboard that animates different colors. It just rotates and cycles through RGB. Works exactly like the stock keyboard, it's just themed pretty much. If you go into the settings of this tweak, you can see that there are a couple things to configure. So I like the full OLED black. I think it looks very stealthy. You can also animate the key colors and the key caps. You can also do a custom color, but I personally just like it going through all of the colors. Moving right along, the next tweak I have for you is called Charge Animations. This one's pretty cool. It gives you a three day trial. So you can go ahead and test it out to see if you like it before you choose to buy it. And all this does is whenever you plug in your device, it will have a cool little animation. So if we do this one right here, that's what the animation will look like while your device is charging. Or you can go ahead and do the apple flower, shows you the percentage and just animates on your device the whole time it's charging. You can go ahead and set it so that it's always on loop, or you can set it so that it sleeps after it does the animation. You can adjust the background color, but there's a bunch of different options to configure, different animations. I think the tweak costs $2 after the three day trial. But anyways, guys, that one's called Charge Animations. This next tweak I have for you guys is called Links. It's pretty awesome, it's kind of like spring to mize. So basically it allows you to do customizations throughout your whole entire device. You can customize the system, lock screen, widgets, app switcher, I mean, there's just a ton of different things that you can go ahead and customize. You can color different things. It gives you pretty much full control over whatever you want on your home screen, lock screen, camera, anywhere. Now there's too many settings for me to go over in this video, so maybe I will do a dedicated video on this tweak specifically, but this one is a paid tweak. Now this is a cheaper alternative to Springtimize, so if you guys want to go ahead and check this one out. All right, this next tweak I have for you guys is called App Store Plus Plus. Basically what this allows you to do is go ahead and downgrade any application. So sometimes YouTube or a different application will make an update that you don't like. You can just go ahead and long hold on the update button and you can go ahead and downgrade it. So these are all the different version numbers. And so say you wanted to go back to an earlier version of YouTube, just tap on the version number and it'll automatically start downgrading your application. Now this works on multiple apps. I don't know if it works on all apps, but it works on more than enough apps to be satisfactory. Now this next app I have for you is called Shadow. It is not officially updated for iOS 14, but it does seem to be working. So basically it's just a lightweight jailbreak detection bypass. 
So I have it right now enabled for the Capriotis app because for some reason Capriotis has jailbreak detection. So if we go ahead and go over to the Capriotis application, you can see that it opens up perfectly fine. However, if I disable it, we try to go back into Capriotis. The app just continues to crash for some reason. I don't know why they have jailbreak detection. So we'll go back over to Shadow and enable it for Capriotis. And it will now open and work properly. So like I said before, this tweak has not officially been updated for iOS 14, but it does seem to be working. And this one is called Shadow. Now this last tweak that I have for you guys is called Alert Dismiss. It's just a quick, simple tweak that gives you an option to force dismiss any alerts that come up on your screen. So I know on a couple of the banking apps, an alert comes up that says, oh, you cannot use this banking app because you are jailbroken. Now you can just go ahead and force dismiss the alert. So I'll kind of show you what it looks like real quick. That's a picture of my little dog. So if we try to delete this, you can see that there's an option to force dismiss this. So if I just tap that, it just removes that little pop-up so that I can still continue to use the application. So like I said before, this will probably be good on some of those banking apps that has the pop-up that says you cannot use the app anymore. Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and smack that like button. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.